do you want to talk more about um let me formulate my question here more about the creative process but like um say the SME were to I, I know there was an instance where the SME on set on um, the police officer would 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 give some advice saying the gun should be held like this or this is an important piece of the story of of how a police officer responds to a scene um did that change the way you shot any of the um scenes um i believe it did uh just with certain movements to follow the actor um the gun is on a different side of the body than and the, we'll be able to see the crew members right and so just little moments like that it affects or if those little moments can be affected yeah yeah um and then tina you had brought up earlier something about being inside and shooting out if you want to outside you want to talk more about that yes we have the wonderful luck of shooting on days when the temperature is extreme and <laughs> i think the second day of shooting it was over 100 degrees i mean i think it was a million degrees outside <laughs> um so we had a park scenario first um, and luckily, we were in the same location. I was able to secure a school that had nice grounds. Right. Um, so we uh, simulated a park scenario. And um, at lunchtime, um, I saw my videographer and uh, <laughs> second videographer laying on the floor. And <laughs> thought, there's not enough water um, uh, in the world. And, uh, and even the actors were struggling. Right. So we made an executive decision on set to bring the last scenario inside versus outside. And the director, the SME, the uh, law enforcement officer on set rewrote the script, mm -hmm. basically. And Paul had to react to now a new setting, new lighting, same actors. Right. But they had to react to, I thought I was going to be outside, and then they were very thankful they were inside. Yeah. And everybody did a great job. Yeah. I think this is a good segue into, like, the tools that you use, too. So um, knowing now that you're going from outside to inside um, and the fact that in your personal kit, you have some of the latest cameras and gimbals and all kinds of stuff so that really didn't change too much on the tool side for you right yeah so i think just having like i said that point of we you at your disposal have the latest tools to use and that the, the fact that even though we made this your team made this big decision to go from a scene from outside to inside really didn't impact the production too much right no I, yeah definitely um I think you had, I think you all <laughs> might not remember. All right. <laughs> odd. <laughs> well, we did the, the, um, one of the actors was supposed to be walking outside and that moved to walking in a hallway. And yeah, so the movements stay the same, just using our gimbal and following the actor, um, just to keep that intensity of the scene. Right. Do you scope out like, Maybe not like days before, but when you first get on set, do you scope out like what those movements are going to look like? And if there's like any surprises, do you adjust in any way? Uh, I mean, it's easy to adjust if there are changes. It's just, um, you just see either be a static or we just change either to a static or a moving shot. Yeah. Um, and so, and just, and then just how we approach it from a different angle. Yeah. I think another good segue. Um, let's talk about sound. Like, how do you, so for one of the scenes, it was a pretty private location, not too much to worry about sound, but the other scene on the hot day, um, was outside in a pretty public area, right? How did you, uh, deal with the, just the, the, the environmental sounds that were around you? Yes, so the private or the downtown wasn't too busy. And so we had to make it seem busy so we utilized all of our crew yeah and some background to uh, just walk around the city and they're our first establishing shot um and so then 
it looked busy just uh, people wise, but we had to add in sound effects just through fucking trucks or construction or birds. Right. So I added all the different layers and editing timeline to make, make it, city. Yeah, right. make it more realistic. And do you want Tina to talk about what just, I mean, this we know scientifically that sound is a big emotional factor for us, right? So do you want to talk about like what that does to a video? Just say we shot that video, but didn't have all the downtown noise. What's the difference there? That's a wrap for this episode of the Full Frame Podcast. We hope you found these tips on leveling up your corporate videos useful. If you're interested in taking your videos to the next level, be sure to check out Avian's video production services. Our team is dedicated to creating high quality, engaging videos that not only tell your story, but help you reach your goals. To learn more, head over to our website at avian.com. That's A-V-I-A-N.com. And don't forget to tune in next time for more insights and advice on video production. Thanks for listening.